It was just a few short years ago. If you wanted Makita's top tier hammer drill, you were going to pay for it and you were going to pay handsomely. Matter of fact, I remember a time when we went to the Home Depot to pick up the XPH07. I think it should have been titled the XPH07 because it was like stealthy. It was just the top of the line, the bee's knees of hammer drills. I remember getting that hammer drill in a kit with Makita's rapid charger and two four amp hour batteries. I paid a handsome $399 no impact driver, no special bits. It was just the hammer drill. And it was a good hammer drill at that. That's why when I came across this deal, Makita's XPH-14, their newest top of the line hammer drill in a combo kit with their XDT-16, one of my favorite impact drivers on the market. For $399, I was like, hold the phone. This is, this is breaking news, but it got better. They said, if you buy that combo kit for $399, we're gonna throw in two additional five amp hour batteries from Makita. Now, I will say that, you know, Makita probably wants to get rid of these batteries. These are old 18650 cells. I'm not saying that they're not good batteries. I'm just saying they are a little older technology. It is what it is. So Makita said, hey, we know we're giving you 18650 cells in those two five amp hour batteries. Can we entice you a little bit more? So what they do, they threw in their newest impact ready XPS driver bit set, 45 pieces, all this for $399. Can you believe it? You'll see here, brushless two-piece combo kit, hammer drill, driver, or hammer driver drill, whatever, however, whatever floats your boat. You say tomato, I say tomato, okay? And Makita says hammer driver drill. And an impact driver. This is product number XT288T. Now, here's the thing. Makita tools are pretty much bulletproof. I mean, they put a lot of R&D into their tools. So why only offer a three year warranty? I, I don't really understand that. But if you dive onto the Makita platform, you are getting a three year warranty tool and battery. You'll see here, 1250 inch pounds of peak torque. It's got hammer, masonry, steel, and wart. In this box is one of my favorite impact drivers, the XDT16, and has 1600 inch pounds of torque crazy amount of torque. You know what the funny part is? The delivery of torque. You know, 1,250 inch pounds of peak torque on the hammer drill requires a handle. 1,600 inch pounds of torque on the impact driver is a one-handed operation. It's bizarre. Within this box, you'll see, you got the hammer drill, the impact driver, two five amp hour batteries. Makita's awesome rapid charger jukebox, as well as a bag. It says two speed hammer driver drill with brushless motor delivers zero to 550 RPM in speed one and zero to 2100 RPM in speed two. 1250 inch pounds of peak torque weighs only six pounds with the battery. Features extreme protection technology, XPT, for improved dust and water resistance. Whoa. The XPH14 has a capacity steel wood masonry half inch in steel, three inches in wood, five eighths of an inch in masonry. Blows per minute, which is two speed. In speed one, you got 8,250, and speed two, you have 31,500 for the hammer function. Peak torque, 1,250 inch pounds, overall length seven inches, net weight with battery six pounds. And I will suggest, like if, if you're thinking about jumping on this combo Kiat, do it now while you're getting the extra goodies. Whoa, the bag comes out first. One thing that's that's much different than when I bought just the hammer drill in the past, the, the XPH07, that hammer drill did come in a hard case. This is not coming in a hard case. I'm not loving the zipper. 
I am not, look at this. I, I, listen, here's the deal. This is brand new, and I'm not doing anything. What's up with that? Okay, that's, that's a little nuts. Look, at the corners, it, it keeps on jamming up. Once you have the bag open, though, you'll see we have nice compartments in there for our hammer drill, our impact driver, additional battery slots, and even has some nice stitching on the bag. And there's pockets on the outside as well. This is not bad. I just don't love. Let's see how it zippers up. Maybe it, it needed to loosen up. Or maybe it just needs some lubrication or something. I hear it at the corners. Like it's not my it's not my imagination running away with me. Do you see this? Who wants to deal with that? Just spent four hundred dollars. Can we get a better zipper? Can we get some KYYs or whatever it is? or KKYs, or whatever the heck it is. Better zippers. I'm not Amish, okay? I'm not Amish. All right, but guess what? Buttons would work better at this point than these zippers. We're a bunch of crazy Mennonites living here in this Amish paradise. Zippers are for the devil. This better be one heck of a hammer drill, okay? Because if you can't get the zippers right, if you can't get the zippers right, there's problems, you know? Here's the deal. I remember singing the praises of the vessel that was made to hold your Makita tools. Had secret compartments. It opened flawlessly. This, this, this is a joke compared to the old days. Here's our rapid charger. You will know that it's a rapid charger because it actually has an RC here. DC-18RC stands for rapid charger. I'm gonna combine two videos in one today. You're gonna get a twofer. You're gonna get a twofer. We're gonna need to charge our batteries. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take my XDT-16 <gasps> out of the box. Whoa, out of the box here. I will tell you, this is one of the most compact, powerful, and sophisticated impact drivers on the market. This has, this has its own secret feature. Okay, but this charger has a secret feature you might not know about. And being that we have to charge this battery anyway, because it only has one bar, I'm gonna show you a little trick. If we pop our battery on this charger, you'll hear it beep beep, it's charging. There's status lights in here and all. But let's just say you're, you're just, you don't like things traditional. You like to go non-traditional. You like a little spice in your life, okay? What you can do is pull your battery off. You pull it off, and then you pop it back on, then you pop it off, and pop it back on. Whoa, the tune changed. If you do it again, you hear it? That's why I call this the Rapid Charger Jukebox. Pretty cool stuff. If you didn't know, now you know. We're gonna set this aside in our bag because we have a full video about the XDT-16 already and multiple tool tests. If you wanted to see it, go on over here, check it out. But don't go watch that until you watch this. Our belt clips, these are pretty nice. Look at this, this is the attention to detail. This is why I'm shocked that Makita have such crappy zippers on their bag, okay? Look at this. Their screws come with pre-applied thread locker. Look at that. Who else does that? Leave it down in the comment section. Now, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. All of us, including you. We have our, our handle. And I will tell you this much, this handle is much more compact than the outgoing. Wow, this is nice. Here's the deal with this. It seems much more compact. It does not seem any lighter. This is, this is a handful. We have a single selector ring for our driver and drill modes. Here's our drill mode. And then we move through our clutch settings. Wow, look at this. My Lord, we got 21 clutch settings. We have a metal handle that connects to a metal housing. Now the great part about that is that metal to metal contact under the heaviest of loads, which would be masonry drilling applications, it's able to remove some heat out of that gear case. We have our, our depth guide. We're able to pop this right in here. 
and we'll loosen this up. We'll loosen up this little bolt. We'll pop in that gauge. This way, you can accurately measure to the depth that you need. For comparison's sake, we don't have the hammer model. This is, a, this is the drill driver model. This is the XFD07. Look at the size difference. Pretty nice. It doesn't look like they're using cheaper materials in the construction of this XPH14. They're still using Yukiwa, Yukawa, made in Japan chucks. Pretty cool, I like that. It's a ratcheting chuck. Just like the XFD07, the XPH14 is, in fact, made in China. It is not made in Japan. Let's get a weight on this. For the XFD07, you're looking at, with its battery, five pounds, 3.9 ounces, okay? And this is a non-hammer model, remember that, compared to the newest XPH14, which is a hammer model, with its battery, wow, you're at five pounds, 0.5 ounces. Throw a two amp hour battery on this. Look at how compact it's become now and bumping down to a two amp hour battery really does save some, some weight if you need to be up above your head all day or extending out. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a nice chuck, man. Wow, like no cam out at all because it's the right amount of speed matched with torque. Like this is fun. Let's see if we could drive these even faster on speed two. So much torque for the speed. Speed two is like, that's crazy. It's like a madman. It's nuts. Look at it. Let's give it something more. Let's give it more of a challenge. We have some three inch drywall screws. Now I'll tell you, as far as fasteners go, three inch drywall screws through three inches of wood, you're talking about major amounts of torque required to drive these fasteners. Man. You know, you'll see there, a little off axis and boom, you'll get cam out. Here's the thing. Oh man, that's good. That's sweet. Woo! That is nice. Let's put it in speed two, see how we do. I will tell you, I don't suggest you trying this at home with an ordinary drill driver or hammer drill driver. Woo! That was nice. Let's try some wood screws. I mean, that is absolutely effortless. Effortless. You could give it a little more speed and speed two. Wow. Wow. Like, not even a challenge. Does it have the oomph to drive something like a lag fastener, an engineered lag fastener? Let's see. These are six inch by quarter inch truss head lag fasteners. Now here's the deal. We're gonna turn it back down to speed one. We'll see how it does. I will tell you, don't try this at home without your handle. Wow, that was amazing, effortless. Let's throw in speed two. Wow! Wow! I gotta tell you, XPH 14 is putting on a heck of our performance here. Let's see how I drill some holes. We're gonna be using Speed Demon Spaddle Bits from Diablo. We're gonna start it out in speed one, see how it does. I mean, that was effortless. We're gonna put it in speed two. We're gonna see how it does. Wow. That might be a record. We know what you really wanna see. If Makita's newest hammer drill does a good job in masonry, we have a Bosch, their devil, multi-purpose bit. I will say, you can drill a lot of materials with this bit, 
But the thing that it does best, in my opinion, is drill through concrete. We have 5,000 PSI, fully cured concrete here. We're going to be on speed two. We're going to set our hammer drill on hammer mode. <laughs> Fairly rapid. Let's drill another one. It's like not even a challenge for this thing. That was impressive. Leave it down in the comments section below. Do you want to see this Makita drill some holes in masonry with, I don't know, a slightly bigger bit. Like this one here. <laughs> this is a one inch masonry bit. This is a bit that we used in what's called a tool test raw. Do you wanna see this hammer drill in a tool test raw where we would put it up against a competitor's comparably priced positioned hammer drill? Which hammer drill would you want that to be? What do you think would be a good competitor for Makita's new offering? Maybe the Gen 3 from Milwaukee? If that's something you'd wanna see, leave it down below. Also, if that's something you wanna see, make sure you hit the like button. It's gonna let us know you're into Makita. Either they're tools and you like them or love them, or you're into Makita getting shellacked by the Milwaukee Gen 3 hammer drill but we'll know that there's an interest by the number of likes on today's video. Plus, you'll get seven years of good luck if you hit the like button. There's no good reason not to hit it. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. Hope to see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later. <laughs>